Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you the differences between two SATA modes which is IDE and AHCI I've done some testing and uh, I will show you the results so let's start it then and first I will show you the S AS uh, SSD benchmark so on your right is IDE mode on your left AHCI Let's focus on the uh, on the right uh, read speed, sorry, because I don't bother about the right one. Mm, I'm using this hard drive only for my Windows, for my operating system, so I really don't bother about the right speed. So as you can see, on the IDE mode, I got 227 megabytes per second, and on AHCI, I got 268. And the biggest difference is with the 4K 64 thread test which on the AHCI I got 173 megabytes per second on uh, IDE only 29 so it's huge different here so another bank uh, is Otto 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 I don't know Otto uh, benchmark it's quite small so I can I hope I can show you this and you can see that no. Okay, so on the ID I got 254 megabytes per second, but on uh, AHCI I got 282. So another big improvement showing that AHCI mode is much much faster. And the last benchmark is the Crystal Disk Bank. And again you can see the differences and 245 nearly 246 on IDE and 278 on HCI mode and again the biggest difference is on the 4k QD 32 test which on IDE I got 31 let's say and 183 on HCI so again showing us that which mode is, is much much faster all tests I've done on my uh, motherboard which is supporting SATA 2 connection with SATA 3 probably that will be much much higher results but unfortunately I, I haven't any so I can't do any tests and uh, I'm strongly recommend that you, you should use the HCI mode if you are not using yet uh, but to do this, to change this value, uh, you have to remember one thing. First, you have to change the registry uh, under your Windows uh, operating under your operating system, and then go to the BIOS and change this value in the BIOS. If you won't do that, you will crash your systems. So you have to install Windows again. So be aware and remember: first, change the uh, registry settings under the Windows, and then go to your BIOS and change this value in the BIOS.